It's official, King Tut's Iron Dagger is made from a meteorite. New X-ray images have just confirmed the origin of one of Egypt's ancient mysteries. According to a recent study, the royal dagger was made from materials found in meteorites. It was forged at low temperatures and offered as a wedding gift. The study confirmed that the high nickel content of the dagger did not originate on Earth. The dagger was made from iron in addition to 11% nickel and 0.6% cobalt. The study utilized spectrometer analysis to further confirm the cosmic origin of the material. According to a recent study, the material used to create the dagger came from a meteorite that landed somewhere in the region of present-day Syria. We already know that iron was used by different civilizations in the eastern Mediterranean area between the late Neolithic period and the Bronze age. Civilizations used iron to create weapons and precious objects, such as the pharaoh's dagger. The same metal pattern has been seen in an ancient Japanese sword. By analyzing this combination of materials, scientists believe the dagger was crafted from a material called octahedrite, which is part of the most common class of iron meteorites. The researchers were also able to confirm the method by which the dagger was made, which involved heating the raw materials at temperatures less than 950 degrees Celsius. The gold hilt of the dagger also contained traces of calcium, which would normally not be found when gold has been processed. That led researchers to believe that plaster was used to attach the ornaments to the hilt. Egypt did not have the technology to manufacture iron or plaster during the Ptolemaic period from 305 to 30 BC. However, the dagger was mentioned in the Amarna letters that were found in Tutankhamun's burial chamber, which suggests that it may have been brought from abroad, likely from Mitanni, a kingdom in northern Mesopotamia. Iron processing technology and the use of lime plaster already existed in that region. The royal dagger was discovered in 1925 by British archaeologist Howard Carter. It was found in the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun's valley tomb. Carter discovered the intact tomb of the 18th century pharaoh Tutankhamun three years earlier in 1922. It was the most well-preserved pharaonic tomb ever found in the Valley of the Kings. When King Tut's dagger was first discovered, more than 5,000 artifacts were recovered from the same tomb, including 19 unique objects made of iron. The recently x-rayed dagger was one of those objects. Archaeologists also found a golden hilt that belonged to King Tut's dagger, a miniature headrest, and an amulet. They also found a set of blades that may have been used for the opening of the mouth ceremony. Ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife, and they made sure that the deceased, especially those from upper levels of society, had everything they needed in their next journey. Part of the preparation was the opening of the mouth ceremony, which was performed to help the deceased eat and drink in the afterlife. Such scientific discoveries, especially the ones that involve cosmic objects and ancient civilizations, are what push us to learn more about our ancestors, their mythology, and what they knew about stars, planets, and the cosmos. A healthy combination of imagination and evidence-based research could help us learn more about our origins. In recent decades, we have learned a lot of new things about ancient civilizations, but despite all the technological and scientific advancements, there are many more mysteries mysteries waiting to be solved. Share your favorite facts about ancient civilizations in the comment section.